But Yiddish was a warm, funny, lyrical, a warm language. I, rem I remember warmth, just warmth, just hearing it. Um, when we were in the country, we used to spend every year in the Catskills, and we stayed at a bungalow colonies that were all Jewish, you know, and all friends and a lot of Holocaust survivors. And one time we brought a friend of ours up with his little children, and they had a phone booth. And when the phone rang, the woman who had the office would answer the phone, and then she would announce in Yiddish or in a thick accent, telephone, and the little boy turned around and he said to me, everyone, even the telephone, speaks Spanish here. <laughs> I remember laughing at that, but the sound is music, that's all, it's music. And I honestly believe that helped my children with their Jewish feelings, their love of Yiddish. My granddaughter went to Hampshire and she came here for a Yiddish course. My grandson loves Yiddish and studies it and tries to pick up here and there. They used to bet when uh, my husband got a telephone call, uh, let's, let's time it from when he starts, stops English and starts Yiddish. And they, they loved it. They loved to hear it. And they know when they hear it, they know it. So, and I believe it was just monumental in keeping them um, Jewish.